Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm going to bring you along kind of vlog style as I go about my morning. We're going to go back in time and then give you a grocery haul as well. And then if you like vlog style videos and kind of just getting a sneak peek into my day, you would probably like Glamber's vlog, vlog style video that she's doing today. I call her Glamber, but her name is Amber. She has a YouTube channel called Housewife Home Life. It used to be Housewife Glam Life hence Glamber. I gave her that nickname and it's just stuck and that's what I call her. But anyway, she's doing a vlog style video today. She's going to show y'all some a fun new project that they're going to be doing around their house and then she's got a grocery haul and I think she's taking you into Sam's Club and giving you a Sam's Club haul too. So if you like this type of video, if you like vlog style and you like Sam's Club hauls, make sure you check out the description box below. I'll have her video linked. Go check her out and go subscribe to her. You'll love her. making a breakfast casserole. I have made it before on my channel. I will link the recipe below. If you are wondering what is boiling on my stove, I'm about to show you, but I was not speaking this early in the morning. <laughs> so I thought I would just pop on with a voiceover. This was boiling a renewable therapeutic heat pack. You have to boil it to reset it. It's one of those click activation technology heat packs. I don't know if you've ever seen them. The, this particular one was being sold at Sam's a couple of weeks ago. They had a big sale on it. They had a person there selling them and I was a sucker and bought into it, but I really do like it. And um, it was buy one, get one. So I gave the other packs of them to my parents. And my coffee was, I wouldn't say a fail, but I definitely added way too much creamer because I was looking in the camera instead of looking in person. And then I also spilled it everywhere because I was looking in camera instead of looking in person. I'm not the best vlogger, y'all. Good morning. So I wasn't talking on camera earlier, but just because I had just woken up, I still have that look. You're welcome. Um, but I got up and needed to use up the rest of some ingredients in the fridge. I'm going to pick up groceries in just a little while. I thought I would give you all a haul. This is going to be a haul for our Easter meal that we're making on Saturday night. We are having some of Stephen's family, some of his family that lives out of town is going to be in town. 
So we're having them over Saturday night. It, that's just what worked best to do Easter dinner with them. So I'm going to be picking up my grocery haul for that. Plus there's other stuff that we need as well. It's a pretty big grocery haul. So I'll share that with y'all today. I'm making the breakfast casserole now. I've got to do some cleaning around the house. Um, I was not planning on getting dressed so early, but we got a new roof this week. And we also decided for them to install leaf guard. It's kind of like gutter guard on our back gutters because in our backyard we have two really big china berry trees and they kind of reach over the house and stuff falls in our gutters all the time so we need leaf guard on the back so they're here installing that they didn't tell us they were here all of a sudden we just saw them in the backyard walking around and i was in my pj so i was like hmm. and fun fact we don't have um we don't have blinds on any of our windows in the house we only have curtains and like we have a big shade on this window in here in our on our picture window in the living room but we you know I had the curtains open and they were just walking and I was just in my PJs it's time for our breakfast casserole I hear it going beep beep as Cole says a lot of times I'll be in the back of the house and something will be going off in the kitchen he'll say beep 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 <laughs> false alarm it was not done yet I don't know why that recipe always surprises me it says 15 minutes in the oven and it always takes longer. The leaf guard guys are ringing the doorbell. I'll be back. Okay, so they just had a couple of questions for us. We answered those. They're gonna get to work. Hopefully it won't take them all day. I'm ready to have our house quiet again and back to normal and people not everywhere. But breakfast casserole is actually gonna be coming out of the oven here soon. It always takes, I think that's what I was saying when I got interrupted with the doorbell. It always takes like five or six more minutes. I don't know why. Before I get into the grocery haul, I wanted to tell you um, a little trick. If you get, if you do pick up and you get a ton of bags like we do, we use these obviously to clean out like Gracie's litter box and we use them as trash can liners for the small trash cans in the bathroom, but we still have a good many excess. So check with your local food pantry. Our local food pantry accepts plastic bags because they package all of the goods that are is going out to those in need in plastic bags and they need them they're always in need of them here is my haul it's not that much stuff but there was some expensive stuff like this big old ham that's $24 and something $24.37 it says so there's a good many pricier things in this haul they had a couple of substitutions and they were completely out of one thing but let me show you everything I got got this brown sugar double glazed ham and then I also picked up the boys and I have really been enjoying fresh deli cut meats lately so they requested Stephen wanted roast beef so I got like 0.75 I think a pound is what I told it on there and um, then Cole wanted sliced chicken so I got both of those and you know that's a little bit pricier that's seven dollars and that's five dollars but it's just so much better than the prepackaged stuff. I'm sure y'all know that. Um, I got some more eggs. I'm going to be making deviled eggs for our get together. And we have a good many eggs already, but we needed some more, obviously, if I'm going to be doing that. We haven't had ice cream in our house in quite some time. And let me tell you this. So last night after dinner, I wanted something sweet. We had no cookies. We had no chocolate. We had no ice cream. We had nothing sweet in this house. I was not happy. <laughs> so that's why we've got the ice cream. But Cole's favorite ice cream is chocolate, Briar's chocolate, and then mine and Steven's favorite is the mint chocolate chip by Briar's. Cole requested both of these things. He wanted some more corn dogs, and he wanted these for breakfasts. Then we got this Cool Whip, or whipped topping, it's not Cool Whip. And these two things, or three things, vanilla pudding mix. Is this the instant? It is. I didn't, I don't remember specifically looking for instant online. I guess I chose that. And then the jello and the white cake mix. We're going to be making the poke cake again for, um, I almost said Christmas, Easter. Steven requested these. He said he's really been enjoying having mixed nuts lately. And I like to get them from Sam's because they have that really big one. But I'm not quite ready to go back to Sam's 
yet so I got this one just in the meantime Cole wanted some more of these he eats these I, I love them too but he snacks on these all the time they're his favorite I requested these and I didn't realize I was getting family size but that's okay next this was a substitution I ordered a smaller thing of these but the guys will not complain they have really been eating a lot of these baby dill pickles lately this we were almost completely out of onion powder so I got some more of that I was influenced by Jessica O'Donohue yet again. Um, if you watched not too long ago, oh, you know what? I don't think I recorded that. I picked up this one because of her at Sam's Club. I didn't record that haul, but we haven't tried it yet. I just got it like last week maybe, but she was also talking about how good this is. So I think I'm going to put this in our mashed potatoes um, on for our Easter dinner, and I'll show you the whole potato thing going on here in just a second. We're gonna make green bean casserole. So I got the French style green beans. I just prefer those for green bean casserole. The French fried onions and some more cream of mushroom soup. That's all for green bean casserole. Um, the thing that they were out of was the beef flavor of the ramen noodles. This is Steven's favorite flavor is the creamy chicken. Cole's favorite is the beef and they were out of it. So they gave us the ones that I ordered of the creamy chicken. Now every spring and summer, especially, we go through these like crazy because we usually have get-togethers and eat, eating outside and all of those things. So I needed to go ahead and stock up for this coming season. So I got a hundred of these. I think these were like almost five dollars a piece, maybe four fifty each or something. So the forks and the spoons. I very rarely will buy the knives because they don't they don't work. For chips this week, they were completely out of the ones that we like, the Great Value Kettle Cooked. So I just got some regular Doritos. And then this took me back to when I used to work at a um, my corporate job. There was a Subway right next door. And I ate Subway all the time because it was right next door. And I always, always, always got the Garden Salsa Sun Chips. They're my favorite. And I haven't had them in years, so picked that up. We needed some more sugar. Then I got a Sprite Zero and then the sparkling waters that we love. This is the potato thing I was gonna tell you about. I wanted a five pound bag of potatoes. They were out of them. So I just said, okay, fine, I'll get the eight pound bag because I knew I'm gonna make a lot of mashed potatoes for Easter. I didn't realize they were the huge potatoes, which is fine. I mean, that's less peeling for me, you know, like less small ones to peel and it's easier to peel the large ones anyway. But on the front of these, it says jumbo baking potatoes. It may have said that on the website too. I don't know. I just saw that the eight pound because they didn't have any, they had just buy them individually or the eight pound. They didn't have any five pounds. For sandwiches, I got some more lettuce and tomato and that is it friends. Okay, so I need to run to the UPS store. <coughs> I backed into my, <laughs> I backed into my garage. Those are the bags that I was telling you that I take to the food pantry. Yeah, we hang them out here in the garage, and then once it gets a little too full like it is now, I stop by the food pantry and drop it off. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to the UPS store. I've got two, no, three things from an Amazon Prime wardrobe that I got that I need to return. And then I have a bathing suit that I need to return as well. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may already have seen this information about this bathing suit. I'm not even going to try and pull it out. Um, it just didn't fit me right. I didn't like the look of it. I will link the one with the information and all of that below so you can see it. If you have a different body type than me, you may like it. But I'm a little broad through here and I'm more narrow through my hips and the rest of my body. So this particular bathing suit kind of accentuated the broad factor and I just wasn't a fan. So I'm going to return it. I'm waiting on another bathing suit to be delivered today. I was hoping it would already have been here so I could try it on and then take it back if I needed to, but it's not. Um, so I'm going to go take these things back. I'm also going to go check my PO box because I think I have something in there. I might not, but I remember someone told me recently that they had sent me something, so I need to go check that. But it is a beautiful day, but it is deceivingly beautiful because it looks nice and warm and springy outside, but it's in the 40s which is very uncommon for South Carolina in April. But I don't know if I mentioned today is Good Friday. And my child just came out. He and Steven are about to take the trash off to the trash dump. So I'll unlock it. Hold on. Okay, so I thought I would show y'all um, some of the 
good things that I got from Prime Wardrobe. This is actually the second one that I've ordered. The original one that came in my Prime Wardrobe, I loved it so much that I ordered another one. This is navy blue. Can you tell? Navy blue. Uh, with like, I don't know, some type of little floral pattern. But I love it because it does have a slit. I'm wearing leggings. I wouldn't wear this with leggings. I got these two shirts that I got to wear to church. Um, we At our church, it's pretty casual. But I don't want to wear just like t-shirts, obviously. And I don't have a lot of nice shirts. Imagine that. <laughs> I'm at home all day, every day, it seems like. So this is a three-quarter length shirt or sleeve. Um, the sleeve has elastic in it so if you want to pull it up it's more like a short sleeve it does have a slit in the side i just love the way that it fits and i'll just tell you i have a larger chest and a lot of times flowy shirts make me look like i'm pregnant because it comes out from my chest and then it just kind of flows out so it looks like i'm trying to hide like a pregnant belly and i'm not <laughs> obviously so i really like this shirt it does not make me look pregnant at all so I'm really excited to get this second one. This one just came in the mail today because once I fell in love with the original one, and I'll show that to you, I wanted to get a second one. This is the one I originally got. I really love this color. It was very spring-like to me. And it is an Amazon Essentials brand. So, I mean, I think it was like $20 for these shirts, which I feel like is a really fair price. Um, and it is true to size. So I got a medium and it's perfect. So just, I'll link it below. Here's the elastic sleeve that I was telling you about. But these are a perfect lightweight shirt um, to go into spring with. And they have a ton of different colors and patterns. And the other Amazon thing that I got was this dress. Um, I love it. It is a like a wrap dress, but it's not really a wrap dress. Like it's a faux wrap dress. It does have pockets, which I really love. And I love the sleeve. I think it's so cute. They have a few different patterns as well, but I ended up not ordering another one. Just because I don't wear a ton of dresses anyway and the other patterns I wasn't in love with. It does cut kind of low so you'll want to wear um, a tank top underneath possibly. But I love it. It hits at all the right places for me. It slims me where it needs to slim me. I'm not going to wear it with leggings. I just didn't want to take my leggings off to try it on for y'all. But this is also an Amazon Essentials. And I think, I'm not sure on the price. I will link it in the description box below. But again, different colors, different patterns that they have. But I think this is perfect for spring and summer. And really quickly, I wanted to thank Amy for sending me this sweet Easter card. And I wanted to thank Leela for this awesome gift. It came from Amazon, but it had like the little gift note in there. And it's from Leela. And I've, I've seen these before. I've always thought that would be so cool to have. And when I'm loading up Ziploc bags with like a marinade or trying to put something in it that I've got to pour in it, it's kind of a pain. And I thought those things would be so handy and she sent me one and I love that or she sent me it actually came in a pack of four obviously I don't I don't think I need four because I would just be doing one at a time so I may give one to like my mom and my sister um, but I love that these fold down so it's e easy to store I can just put this in the drawer like that's super simple and I love that these extend up let me show you see so you, you see how long that is it's hard to do it one-handed <laughs> yeah almost impossible hold on so you can pull these up if you have a larger bag that you're wanting to clip on here and it came with five I guess these are reusable bags and they have the air valve on them so you can remove the air I don't really know how to do that um, so I need to look on Amazon and see like how to use this but you just open it up. These are nice bags. And then clip them in here. And that holds it open for you to fill it with. So thoughtful. So thank you, Layla, for sending this. I'm sure I will get plenty of use. And I love that I can store it super easily. Ta-da! And yes, I'm back in this because in a couple of hours we'll be at church for the Good Friday service. So I'm just going to wear this tonight. I'm not going to wear my leggings that I have on. I'll actually put on like real pants. Um, but thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and kind of this vlog style video of just hanging out with me today. Don't forget that Glamber, Amber, 
did one as well check the description box below also any of the clothing and things that i had on today if you're interested in taking a look at it and seeing what other patterns they have all of that is linked in the description box too thank you all so much for watching i will be back this friday with a new what's for dinner promise i'm so excited about it it's a really good one so be sure to tune in bye y'all